Good afternoon. It is April and I am in the mood to clean my house. Those clips that you just watched were from the other day. Gave my bathroom a good old deep clean and today we are going to focus on the bedroom. It's actually solar eclipse day today and it's so cloudy which I think is kind of hilarious because everyone's been stocking up on their solar eclipse glasses so that they can stare at the sun and I don't even know if we're gonna be able to see it, but we'll see. I know that it is dust heaven underneath this bed. I don't know if it's been cleaned since we moved in here. So I'm gonna pull everything out from underneath there and get it squeaky clean and dust free along with everything else in this room. So I'm gonna start with some laundry. I think I might as well wash these sheets. I'm not gonna do this closet because this is Will's closet. And we actually cleaned this out at the end of last summer, so it needs a bit of a refresh, but it's actually pretty clean in there, honestly. So we're just gonna cover that up. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna do surfaces. I'm really sad about this plant. <laughs> It didn't really make it past our trip to Mexico. Only this one little branch is still alive. So I think I'm gonna actually just pull the rest of these out of here. And hopefully this one, this one little guy can make it. Christmas cactus is literally blooming because it thinks it's Christmas time because of how dark it's been here over the last few months. It's so funny, but I'm happy to have the blooms there. Beautiful. everything out from underneath the bed. I have a whole bunch of plastic bins that's all full of stuff. This is like majority of the storage in our apartment, so it's pretty full underneath here. 
um, yeah I'm just gonna pull things out wipe them down and then once everything's pulled out from underneath I will try to sweep under there and then hopefully do some mopping as well <laughs> wondering I don't have a vacuum I have never had a vacuum since I lived like at my parents house I would love to have a vacuum I feel like it would make my life a lot easier but we have literally nowhere to store it every single crevice in my home is full so yeah I just sweep and mop and that's how I keep my floors clean <laughs> Some of this stuff I can definitely find a better place for. Like this is our steamer. I think it probably got shoved under here by accident. I wouldn't actually store this here. I'm sure I can find a place in a closet somewhere. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, it's so dusty. Oh my god. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a more body giving sin of views. I'm just saying I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tat it up, cover rooms, different vibe, you know, and But you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try to. Run. Tell me why they inside your blood. Inside your blood. Tell me think about inside the walls. Words cut deep, it's like a swan. Like Making me better, you hotter than pepper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You with a big stepper who chasing a cheddar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All of these women, they not on your level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like a mix of business and pleasure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You a move, body giving seen a fuse. I'm just saying I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tat it up, cover warmth, different vibe, you know ain't bro But you ain't even flexing 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 done in here yeah bedroom is done I'm gonna go and have a late lunch and then we're gonna go and try to watch the eclipse on this cloudy cloudy day and I'll pick this back up later in the week when I do the living room I'm so excited to tackle our couch as well as my office two big rooms so I'll see you guys 
then. I'm so annoyed with myself because I <laughs> got fully ready today. I put on lashes and everything so that I could film a video for Instagram. Once I finished getting ready, I decided to make myself lunch and I was like, oh, I'll do my lip after I make lunch. And I forgot. I ate my lunch and then I filmed my Instagram video. So I have a full face of makeup on with no lip in that video. So annoying. So let me just pop it on for you guys instead so that I can look glam while I clean. It's so dark in here. It's been a couple of days since I last saw you and it's just been pouring rain the whole time, which is very springy. But today, we're gonna tackle this. So I'm getting ready to actually completely redo this whole room. It's just not functional in a way that I need it to be. And I feel like I'm kind of wasting space a little bit in here. But before I do that, I need to get it fully cleaned. If you guys have watched any cleaning videos of mine before, you know that my makeup desk right there turns into a disaster and this video is no different. So we're gonna try and take care of that as well. I'm not really in a cleaning mood, but I'm in the mood to be productive. So I'm hoping if I just start, then I will get in the mood and then I'll finish. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see what happens. I am gonna put on some music and just vibe out. Let's get going. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on Like that one fin gay song I'm stunning, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we listening to Ari's most recent album. I haven't listened to it at all yet. And it's so good. Her voice is so angelic. So it took me like no time at all to just clean off my desk and clean off my dresser, which have literally been the bane of my existence for the last, I don't even know how long. One thing that I so rarely do in here is clean the floors because there's so many like, let me show you there's so many stands and wires and there's just like no space to get in there and actually clean i'm gonna kind of attempt to do a little sweep around the area and then when i redo this room i will obviously like take everything out and give the floors a good mop and everything what i would love to do in this video is to swap out all of my spring and summer clothes for my fall and winter clothes but I'm feeling like if I do that, we're gonna have another cold snap. And then I'm just asking for it, honestly. So we'll do that in just like a regular vlog in the next couple of weeks. But for now, we'll leave the wardrobe as it is. One thing that I really do need to do though, that I always ignore whenever I'm cleaning this part of my house is under here. I wasn't joking when I said that we have storage literally Anywhere where we can put stuff in this place has stuff. So under here is probably disgusting because everything that's under here, I literally never either remember that I have or care to use. So I'm gonna go through whatever's under here and probably get rid of a bunch of stuff. Like the first thing that I'm seeing, ew, look how gross. They're so dirty, guys. Don't judge me. 
these super what were once cute little sandals from Esprit that I have never been able to get rid of because they're just so cute but I never wear them because they're so uncomfortable so I'm gonna donate those I bought some hotel slippers from the Drake from when we got married I'll probably keep those my wedding shoes I actually pulled these out to try and wear them recently but they didn't quite go with the outfit that I was gonna wear I feel like they're not so wedding-y that I could not wear them to like not my wedding <laughs> so I've been keeping those oh everything is so dusty this is like a tin box um, that I think is full of like memory stuff yeah so like old pictures shouts out Paul and Kristen <laughs> of your wedding invitation that never happened and yeah just like all cards from my friends and stuff so that's all in here oh I bought this organizer to organize inside my drawers and then it didn't fit so I literally just shoved it under there I feel like maybe this could come in handy somewhere else in the house like maybe in Will's closet I think I just heard a pigeon. Hold on. False alarm. Okay. I found some more shoes. These were like my go-to heels when we were going to so many weddings and events a couple of summers ago. These little P. Linterval, like nude kitten heels. Um, they're super cute and comfortable, except that this whatever this material is it doesn't ever like wear in and so it's kind of plasticky and it rubs against the side of my toe and then i end up getting like a huge blister on the side of my toe but like besides that <laughs> they're pretty comfortable so i'm gonna keep these until i buy a pair of shoes to replace these with like a go-to getting dressed up type shoe i'll put that on my list of things i want i have these stuart weitzman heels that i bought when i was working at holtz these are so high, but all you have to secure it to your foot is this tiny little strap. And so the combo of the tiny strap with the giant heel, they're just like unwearable. I think I've worn them like once or twice to a party here or there, but I need to sell these because they're valuable. So let me just set those aside and I'll try to sell them on Facebook Marketplace or something. And then these heels, these were like my favorite heels ever, my ultimate favorite going out shoes. They're so comfortable. They were so cute at the time. They were like so trendy. I feel like they still, I could still kind of get away with wearing them style wise, but the actual like heels themselves are so damaged. So I'm gonna leave these out too to maybe take them to a shoe repair person and see if they can like fix, fix the heels for me. Cause they're literally, I don't know if I can show you. See that? It's like falling apart and this is metal. So whenever I'm walking, if I walk on anything slippery or metal, I'm like so gonna eat shit. <laughs> oh, one last thing that's living under there is this like tiny little duffel bag. It's so retro. I could also probably sell this to like common sort or something. It says sport. Uh, this was Will's and I don't know why I'm storing it. So we'll leave that out for him to deal with. We're giving some stuff away. We're repurposing a few things. It's so dusty under there. So let me deal with that. I'm so glad I did that, honestly. I've been avoiding it for days and it wasn't even that bad. It didn't even take that long. <laughs> okay, so the only thing I have left on my little, let me close this door while I film actually. The only thing I have left on my spring cleaning to-do list is 
the living room so i kind of want to do basically the same thing like pull all the furniture away from the walls and like sweep and dust and everything underneath but i don't really feel like doing that today but I, i'm going to tackle something in here today which is the couch so the fabric of the couch that we got is annoying let me show you we got a white couch we didn't have expectations that it would stay clean like perfectly clean that we live in here we sit on here and eat all our meals on here like it's not going to stay completely white and honestly it's not that bad it doesn't have any crazy stains but because of the type of fabric that it is any material that rubs against it creates these little pills so they're all over the entire couch. They're from the blankets or literally like people's clothes when they sit on it. And when we first got the couch and we first moved in, I was doing such a good job of being diligent and like depilling the couch, I don't know, frequently, but I haven't done it in like a year or more probably. So I'm gonna take my little depiller that's for like sweaters and stuff and just sit on the couch and deep hill it's gonna take forever so this is kind of a good activity for right now where i'm not really feeling like doing anything but i still want to be productive because i can sit and put a youtube video on or like listen to music or whatever and just like sit and chill and do this and yeah it's just gonna take forever after that i'm gonna take all of the covers off the couch and wash them and dry them but i'll probably do that on the same day that i clean the rest of the living room so for now let's deep hill Got about halfway done depilling the couch the other day before Kira got here. So I am gonna finish that up now. It's Monday afternoon, like almost one o'clock. And then I'm hoping to finish up the living room today, which will then wrap up the spring cleaning. So to start, actually, I'm gonna throw these blankets in the laundry. to do but I feel like if I finish that I'm not gonna have time to clean the rest of the living room so I'm gonna switch clean the living room and then I can finish like deep hilling the couch when I'm watching TV tonight or something o'clock it was a bit of a fail cleaning today honestly as soon as i started cleaning the living room will needed the, the room for a meeting that he had so i had to go into the bedroom couldn't finish my cleaning today and now at 4 30 i'm signed up for a 50 50 class which is like half pilates half hot yoga so i'm gonna wash my face and get ready for that and head to my workout and then hopefully we can finish the living room tomorrow. See you guys then.
afternoon, my friends. It's the next day, it's almost two o'clock. I made myself a little treat, a little decaf iced coffee to pre-reward myself for finishing this video and finishing my spring cleaning. Last night, I spent another like hour and a half depilling the couch and I finally got it depilled. And then this morning, as soon as I woke up, I stripped all of the covers off and threw them in the wash because I was hoping that they would dry in time for Will to help me put them back on. He left for a work trip this afternoon and unfortunately the covers weren't dry. I have them just sitting out here on the balcony. They were in the sunshine this morning but we only get sun for a very brief amount of time in the morning so I have to struggle to get those back on. Hopefully I can do it myself honestly. But in the meantime, I wanna finish cleaning this living room. Today, I'm gonna to clean off the coffee table and get that all wiped down, and then we're gonna move everything, do some more dusting. I did end up ordering a little handheld vacuum from Amazon because when I pulled up all the cushions to take the covers off, there were so many little crummies in between the cushions, which there always has been, and usually we just brush them off onto the floor and then sweep them up, but I'm just tired of that, so I ordered a little handheld one. I feel like it'll be really good too for things like the bar cart here because it gets dusty like in here. Look at all that dust. I'm hoping the little handheld vacuum will be able to pick that up too. I don't think that's gonna come for a couple more days. Amazon said Sunday when I ordered it on Monday, so that's kind of annoying. I wanted to have this all finished by last week that's why i only got put up one video last week because this was supposed to be my second video so i'm just really excited to get it over with cleaning the couch always unearths one million little feathers from inside the cushions and the worst part about that is when i bought this couch it said on the website that it was down free does this look down free to you no there's literally a million feathers everywhere it's so annoying so good <sighs> just been thinking about doing that for like literally months so the fact that it's done just feels, feels so light <laughs> i think some of these yeah some of these smaller covers are dry mm. 
Mm, they, mm, they smell so good. They smell so clean. It's gonna be so nice. <laughs> Relaxing on the clean sofa. I'm just gonna leave the other ones outside to dry for a little bit longer, but after they're done and I get them put back on the couch, we're pretty much done with the spring cleaning. It's so amazing how we get a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of warm weather, and all of a sudden, I have so much more energy and so much more effort to do shit like this. I went to the dentist this morning. I wonder if this is loud. I went to the dentist this morning and he was telling me that he had some family from Australia in town and he was talking to them about spring cleaning and like cleaning his barbecue after the winter and they were like surprised to hear that spring cleaning was like a real thing. And I could see how that would be the case if you live somewhere where it's just hot year round. In places where it gets really cold and really dark, it can feel really hard to do stuff like that. When you haven't seen the sun in weeks and it's minus 30 degrees outside and all you wanna do is just hibernate, I feel like our bodies naturally go into this hibernation mode in the winter and the lack of vitamin D is certainly not helping that either. And as soon as the sun comes out, we're all like ready to go. On the weekends, so many people were out on their balconies cleaning their balconies and everybody's just getting ready and refreshing their lives for a nice clean spring and a super fun summer. Yeah, I can just feel, I can feel the sun giving me motivation and giving me energy. It's great. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. We clean on this channel all the time. I don't always do designated cleaning videos, but I have cleaning in majority of my vlogs. So if you like to watch people clean and you like inspo, this is a good spot for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.